we're gonna have to cool the environment down for this one. Just because I don't feel like running my AC in the background. It would be entirely too loud. Hello guys, where are you? David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.com. Today's video is all about the Vantrue On Dash X2. And as you can see, I'm obviously sitting in my car. And today I've decided to use my GoPro Hero 4 simply because this is a very enclosed space. So I want to get as much into the frame as I possibly can. All right, so jumping right into the review, let's talk about the Vantrue On Dash X2 dash cam it's actually sitting above you guys right now and i gotta say overall i'm very pleased with it this is actually quite similar to the first van true uh dash cam that i talked about a while ago and well this one's just better it's more compact adds more features and it works just as well in my opinion so let's go over some features first up guys let's talk about video resolution this thing records in an awesome resolution of 2560 by 1440 at 30 frames per second. Yes, that's quad HD, 1440p resolution, which makes me very happy. But not only that, you can also record in 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second. So if you like that buttery smooth action, boom, the Vantro X2 does just that. But of course, video is just beginning. The On Dash X2 does much more than that. For example, it can take snapshots automatically in 16 megapixel resolution. This is very handy if you want to get snapshots of someone's license plate just in case in the event of, well, an accident. Because let's face it, stuff like this does happen and that's why having a dash cam is extremely important. Especially if you take it to court. You really can't argue with that kind of evidence. Alright, so going back to video for a second, the ultra wide angle lens captures plenty of video. So again, if something does happen, you don't have to worry about it missing the shot. I can guarantee you the On Dash X2 gets plenty of information within frame. And finally, speaking in terms of performance, I do want to mention this because apparently it's a big deal. I don't know much about the CPU, but it's a big deal according to uh, Vantry's website. The On Dash X2 does feature the Ambarella A12 CPU. Now again, I don't know much about this, but apparently that's a very good thing. So hey, I'm not going to argue it. Overall, I gotta say, I'm very happy with the design. It's slim, it's easy to hold if you need to. The onboard controls are easy to understand. You got plenty of menus to go through. I never really had any troubles with it. And of course, I do have to mention this. The onboard display is easy to see from pretty sharp viewing angles. Now, I'm not saying you should be watching this screen because you should always be focusing on what's in front of you no matter what. But with that said, in case you do need to glance at the screen now and then, you're not gonna have any hard time seeing details. And finally, the setup process is incredibly simple. You plug in the included USB cable, pop in your own micro SD card, and boom, you're ready to go. Now, talking about some of my favorite features, these are the things that I enjoyed most. The parking mode feature actually auto stops and auto starts recording, even though you're not in the car. So for example, if I go in the Wawa, get my typical coffee, get a hoagie, get whatever, and I take five minutes, the On Dash X2 in theory will continue to record. God forbid something happens outside of my car, even when I'm not inside of it, boom, it's gonna be captured on video. And I think that's a big deal. And there's also an emergency mode. So if something does happen, you can instantly save a video file in an event folder. So basically that video file will not be overwritten. All right, so currently I'm just using a 16 gigabyte SD card, which is plenty of space for what I'm using this for, but it does support up to 64 gigabytes, which in my opinion is plenty of space. And last but not least, this isn't something I got the chance to use, but the Dash X2 does support GPS. Okay, so this does require a separate accessory. You gotta love when people are outside when you're trying to make a video, they probably think you're crazy. Anyway, this GPS accessory allows you to track your driving route and your driving speed. Now let's talk about cost. It currently sells for $169 on Amazon as of this recording. If you ask me, $169 for peace of mind, I don't think that's that bad. Let's just say this, I've paid more for less. And if you drive often, well then I think it's easily worth the price. All right, so this is the problem with recording videos outside. I got bugs coming in the car, people talking outside, all these distractions. Overall, I'm very pleased with the Vantrue On Dash X2 dash cam, and I think you'll be pleased as well. Huge thanks to Vantrue for making this video possible. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.